Inside the small factory in the rural town of Nakona, Texas, is a one-of-a-kind operation. We're doing something that's not being done in the States anymore. In this decidedly American game, most of the gloves are made overseas. Nakona Athletic Goods is the only mitt manufacturer still doing the cutting, the sewing, and the lacing all by hand, right here in the USA. You have upwards of 45 different labor operations that go into cutting the leather, stamping, embroidery, sewing, shaping, turning, and then finally we go through a process of ironing the glove from the inside out so that we assure a proper fit for the customer. But the thread stopped rolling one day in 2006. This 80-year-old business almost met an abrupt end. We got a phone call from our plant manager that the building was on fire. We were all standing there watching the building and all wondering, well, wonder what's going to happen now. Where are we going to find another job? And then Robbie gathered all the employees around and says, you're still my employees. You still work for me. Fourth generation owner Rob Story watched the historic business burn to the ground, then pledged to rebuild and to keep paying every employee. Many of them represent generations of families from the 20s up until now that have worked for us. So that's really the thing that we take the greatest pride in is our employees. So the glove maker moved into an abandoned boot factory and from the walls to the floors to the tables, the employees came in and put it all together. Most companies I've seen that have lost everything just go out of business. Nakona built its first ball glove within 57 days of the fire. Production did lag for 18 months, resulting in some lost orders. But now Nakona has its game back, doubling its pre-fire mitt-making capacity, building its American-made legacy. In high definition, Jade Curian, VMHD News, Nakona, Texas.